Hi, my name is Rich Gabriel, and I'm a judge on the Colorado Court of Appeals. My topic today is professionalism in the practice of law. I have heard it said that some lawyers engage in unprofessional tactics because they believe they work. In the brief time we have together today, I'd like to try to persuade you that unprofessional tactics never work and that professional behavior is in everyone's best interest. So I'd like to start by defining what I mean by professionalism. Professionalism, of course, subsumes the rules of ethics. We all have to co comply with the ethical rules. That's easy. But professionalism to me is much more than that. It also includes things like acting with integrity, acting honestly, acting with civility towards the court, towards opposing counsel, towards any parties who are involved in, in matters that you may be involved in. It also includes to me an engagement in public service and an obligation to become involved in public service. We have lawyers get a lot and I think we have some obligation to give back and it includes under, our, under ethics rules and morality a, a duty to represent the defenseless, the oppressed, and those who otherwise would not have access to justice. So with that definition of professionalism or that sense in mind, I want to talk about why I say unprofessional behavior does not work in the practice of law. And I'd like to do so with a, a simple example of uh, looking at parties in a litigation and the principal actors in a litigation matter. Those would be, to me, the court, the client, and the lawyer. So let's look at it from those folks' perspectives. So from the court's perspective, what does unprofessional conduct get? Well, I dare say that unprofessional conduct never ever persuades any judge that I know of. In fact, it's counterproductive. It tends to anger and annoy the judges to have to witness that kind of behavior. And it immediately harms the credibility of the lawyer who is engaging in unprofessional behavior. And let's face it, we as lawyers have only our credibility when it comes down to it. And once our credibility is lost, everything is lost. So unprofessional behavior doesn't get anything with the judge. You certainly don't get a good result and you lose credibility. Let's look at it from the client's perspective. Well, the client frequently thinks they wanted a bulldog lawyer. Whether they saw movies on TV, where they saw the aggressive lawyer winning, or wherever they got that idea, uh, many of us, you get calls in practice that say, I'm looking for a bulldog. Well, that works in, you know, in the client's mind until they first get to court. They don't get the results that they hope to get from the bulldog for the reasons I've said. They just annoy, the lawyers just annoy the court. And the bill gets higher because the bulldog lawyer files every possible motion, is generally obstreperous, is trying to make opposing counsel's life miserable at every turn. That leads to a higher bill. So now you have a client with a high bill and no results to show for it and generally an unhappy client. So the client hasn't succeeded with anyone acting unprofessionally. And let's look at it from the lawyer's perspective. As I've said, you have the lawyer got no good results, the lawyer has lost credibility with the court, the lawyer has a client with a high bill who is generally unhappy. So the lawyer hasn't achieved anything. So I know that's an oversimplified example, but I think it illustrates the point. Very frequently folks think, clients think they want the bulldog lawyer, but it doesn't work for anybody. Not the court, not the client, and certainly not the lawyer who's engaged in those tactics. So why do I say that professionalism is in everyone's best interest? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, it of course promotes credibility for the reasons that I've said. And credibility gets good results in litigation and negotiation. One who's credible is trusted and, and people will listen to the arguments that that person makes with a far more open mind than someone who's screaming and pounding the table. Second, it leads to a good relationship with opposing counsel. Now why does that matter and why should one care? Well, one, of course, it makes for a better quality of life uh, when your relationship with opposing counsel is decent because opposing counsel is not your enemy. They're another lawyer representing a, uh, the opposing party, but they're not your enemy. And uh, to be just look at the reality of it, frequently opposing counsel will become a good source of referral of business when the matter is over. For me, frequently, my, opposing, my opponents in cases would refer work to me when the case is over, and I was happy to do the same for those lawyers who, for whom I had held in very high esteem. And there's no greater compliment than that. So I think that's another, a reason professionalism is in, in everyone's best interest. Personal satisfaction in, in the practice of law uh, 
cannot be uh, overstated in terms of professional conduct. And I mentioned an obligation to do public service and to represent the defenseless and oppressed. There is no greater satisfaction than representing someone who would not have had access to justice but for your stepping up. For me, that was representing two boys who I first met when they were in a crack house, and after four years of litigation, they were adopted by the loving family that wanted them. That adoption day was probably the greatest day of my legal career, and it's why to this day there's a picture of me and the boys on adoption day in my office. It reminds me of why I became a lawyer. Third, uh, in terms of why professionalism is in everyone's best interest, is it makes our profession the source of pride that it should be. I am immensely proud to be a lawyer. Lawyers have the tools to do great, great things. We can change the world in the biggest ways, like Jefferson and Lincoln and Thurgood Marshall, or we can change a small corner of the world, the world for a pro bono client for whom th that little tiny piece of, uh, of, of the world really was everything in the world. So go ahead and go out and do great things and do it the right way. The rewards personally and professionalism for you and for our community and for society at large are immeasurable. Thanks so much for listening.